new ordinance to limit the sale of bullets in Wayne County. Commissioner Reggie Reg Davis is expected to announce the proposal this weekend at Woodlawn Cemetery. Yes, his brother and uncle are buried there. Both shot, both murdered. Davis hopes laying out the details there in a cemetery will drive home the point. Bullets kill. On a visceral level, as you head in, what are you thinking of? Hmm. My brother is no more. So I can talk to him and I can say, hey, Vito, I love you. I miss you. I'm out here fighting for you, brother. I'm doing everything I can in your name. I've dedicated my life uh, for you as a memorial to you. I love you. And he can respond, but it won't be audible. Um, I'll hear it in, in a more spiritual way. And when Reggie Reg Davis walks into the mausoleum at Woodlawn Cemetery and quietly speaks with his brother, there will be silence. Davis says it was 2001. His 19 year old brother shot and killed on the east side of Detroit. Vito was in the car. 17 rounds unleashed. One hit him, uh, the, the hind knee, uh, hitting a major artery. He bled uh, profusely, uh, trying to get to St. John's Hospital. Didn't make it, hit a tree, and his life was no more. The east side, the west side, shot and killed, hit this many times, aimed a gun. We see those things a lot on the news. But I'm tired of turning on the news every day and watching you, for an example, report stories over and over again. This Wayne County Commissioner's plan would require mental health background checks to buy bullets, make people go to law enforcement agencies to get ammunition, and raise taxes on bullets. The money, Davis says, would go to victims of gun violence and support conflict resolution education, among other things. Mr. NRA, Mrs. NRA, uh, we'll take the funds derived from the taxes uh, on the ammunition to teach about the Second Amendment rights and how important they are and to, to help victims of gun violence. <laughs> gun rights advocate Rick Hector literally laughs at the idea. We have some serious societal issues here in the county, in the region, and in the state, and we need to focus on, fi on solving those problems and not further depriving people of their constitutional right to keep and bear a gun. Hector thinks even the basics of Davis's plan go too far. At the end of the day, regardless of how someone suffered the loss of a loved one, that should not in any way reduce an individual's ability and their right to defend themselves and to defend their homes. The bullets, they do the harm. They kill the bullets. So it is up to us to figure out a way to put wrap laws around the purchasing of ammunition. The solution debated. The pain of gun violence everyone agrees on. I love Detroit, and I'm going to do everything I can to my dying day uh, to help with this gun violence piece. Davis's press conference is this Tuesday at 10 a.m. again at Woodlawn Cemetery in Detroit.